Looney Farm Guy here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own 1 million plus liter transport trailer for pretty much anything using this. The 82 Studios Global Goods Transport Pallet. <clears throat> now, first of all, let's show you this little beauty in the uh, in the game here, and this, I'm going to show it to you under my mods and DLCs because there are a few of them. <clears throat> Two of them are on pallets. So you have the uh, dry goods, which you can see down at the bottom, uh, holds literally everything, including um, production um, stuff, like, well, everything. Uh, farm productions, fruits, oils, uh, anything that goes on a pallet will go in here and I got the platinum expansion so everything there that it will fit in there too and then we got the liquids which will hold every liquid now the liquids is a little bit trickier and I'll explain that a little bit later and then we have just <clears throat> a bag bag and what's great about these is the unreal capacity is 200,000 liters so 10 or 200,000 it doesn't cost you anything extra same with the liquid 10 or 200,000 liters. If we go over to the pallets, they're a little bit, I'd say a little bit easier to handle and they seem to be accepted a little bit better with um, <clears throat> with what we're trying to do here. And it also comes in the capacity of 10 or 200,000 liters and you get to change the color of the, uh, the frame. So what I've done here is I've got this is <clears throat> the Lizard Bale Trailer. It's a bale trailer, and the reason I picked this trailer in particular is because it doesn't have any ramps, and we'll talk about that later as well. A little something about um, a friend of the channel, Mr. Domination, has brought to my attention, and um, <clears throat> just now I'm just kind of... <clears throat> excuse me... Um, showing the issues with having with doing this with a low loader trailer now I do have that set up as well but here I just wanted to show you a little bit of something that you can do with this now this is a come on hook up there we go <clears throat> now we have a forge harvester here and the little problem with this is the dolly is a little bit short and actually I liked the short dolly for the most for most things but um, a longer dolly probably would be there's lots and lots of dollies out here but what I really wanted to show you was how this whole system here works now if you notice these have an auto load side and a discharge side And I've oriented them in the discharge going to the rear of the trailer. Now, is that absolutely necessary? Uh, perhaps not, but um, I think that's uh, it works best that way because for the reason that I will show you <clears throat> as you're uh, going along here and harvesting um, crop with your forage harvester, it is uh, dumping it into the first, <clears throat> come on, straighten out. Uh, the first pallet here, and as these work, as how these pallets work, is notice the front one is not filling up. And you're going along here, and you can actually hire a worker. There we go, hired the worker. Oh, we're gonna end, <laughs> we're gonna end up here. But it does uh, it does illustrate my point. Um, the product that goes in here automatically shuffles all the way to the back, and as you can see, the back one here we have uh, the fifty-two thousand liters of chaff, and when that fills up, the next one will fill up, and so on and so forth. So that uh, you're you're never having a little bit on each. It kind of fills and then flows to the back. To the back one now that's pretty neat in itself it actually works really good and uh, if it weren't for this trailer turning um, with the dolly and the trailer binding a little bit I actually had a worker the worker does use this I say um, 
<clears throat> there's a couple of dollies that are a little bit longer than this actually most dollies are a little longer and depending on the trailer now you don't have to use this trailer and um, I will illustrate why actually right now so let's turn that off or unhire the worker there we go neat other neat thing about this is um, at least I got it to work on the other one they will automatically unload now if we go over to the sell point here <clears throat> and just drive over a sell point or a, or a silo or factory pretty much anything as I drive over there you go see that numbers going down uh, it's emptying automatically emptying so uh, <clears throat> and selling right so let's unhook that uh, let's hook that up back right so to illustrate I have this other one over here we're gonna talk about this other trailer in a moment let's go over to a low loader here this is the base game low loader I have here set up with the other bags and these will work too although I found they don't work quite as well as the pallet um, style <clears throat> um, the pallet style ones right so as we hook it up it's already you can see it's already recognizing and it actually works better for turning around because it gives more room for turning however let's just go over to a wheat field here and uh, if you manual if you use it manually uh, no problems whatsoever really with this trailer as you can see it's uh, loading in pretty much working the same way uh, although however like I said for some reason it doesn't like the bags as much as the as much as it does uh, the pallets for some reason it seems that there's the fill point is slightly different or in a, in a different place however what I wanted to illustrate here was the issue with the low loaders that have ramps and aside from uh, let's see let's unhook it here and see if we can adjust this uh, you can pile these on top of each other too as you see here and uh, <laughs> they'll just fill into each other uh, so if you hire a worker this happens the ramps pop out oddly enough um, which is very odd and this isn't the only trailer any low loader with ramps for some reason when you hire a worker uh, using uh, a low loader it pops the ramps out for some reason and notice it's kind of going a little bit spurts and starts and stops it's not liking these I think it's because when you're strapping them down it has a little bit of a conniption fit there with the uh, with the straps and it being filling it because they change size so aside from that we'll stop that let's hop over here uh, this setup here without the ramps now there's a few this is a bale but anything with straps on it bale loader trailers work really good because they don't have ramps and these are liftable by hand as you can see and so what I have here is uh, was it seven one two three four five six seven so uh, uh, one million four hundred thousand liter capacity with the bags set up on this uh, now as a just for well say you have something like this a mother bin with 200,000 liters of wheat in it and uh, you want to uh, 
you want to, well, take it. And you can. Just uh, pull up there and you can empty. Now this will work with harvesters or anything that has a dump-in type of a thing. Uh, especially harvester, you could have this uh, at your field and have the entire crop in one load like you have here. And as you can see, I'm pouring in the front, but it is filling the back one first. Really neat, eh? See, it's going in, but it's going out right away. As fast as it's filling, it's filling up the back. Pretty neat, hey? So, yeah, pretty cool. I think the, uh, these actually, now, I have a full, I have actually several videos with using these um, transport, uh, global transport pallets and the different things you can do with them. Now, as I'm going to say, the liquid ones are a little bit trickier to use like this because for the simple fact that um, you have to be able to fill them from something and they, they kind of unload automatically. So it's a little tricky to use the liquid ones. Um, I will have to try that out a little bit more myself. But anyways, there you go. That's how you make a million plus liter transport trailer on console, because here I'm on PS5, and um, but this can work for all platforms. These are available for PC, Mac, Xbox, S, Xbox S, PS4, PS5. It's an all platform mod. And as you can see, we have, it's just, uh, the stuff is slowly coming and we're gonna hit 200,000 liters right away. It's still, it's still filtering through the other bags. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Pretty neat, eh? Uh, we actually got a little bit more. We got 200,000 here. Yeah, because it was 200,000, uh, 211,435 liters. There you go, everyone. That's your uh, shortcut, trick, tip, whatever you want to call it for today. Thank you all for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember... It's only a game, so till next time, bye for now.